Welcome to Dr. Dominic New Love Ality's podcast. Dr. Dominic New Love Ality is a dynamic preacher and teacher with an extraordinary depth of knowledge and understanding of the principles of God's Word. He is the founder and leader of Living Faith Ministries International Church, one church in two locations, New York and Accra. His vision is to empower each and every believer to live a victorious life through Jesus Christ, to actualize their potential and tap into their God-given talents for the purpose of edifying their own lives and glorifying God's kingdom. Dr. Dominic Newlovality is worth hearing. I want to I want to specially thank God this morning. Amen. And everybody watching this morning, all my friends, my neighbors, my loved ones, in particularly our church in New York. Amen. I know all of you are up this morning. It's like five or so in the morning and you are watching us. Amen. You are ready for the word of God. We welcome you. Let's give them a clap offering. We welcome you. We welcome you. We welcome you in Jesus name. Bless your word in our heart this morning. You see, your value in life is directly proportional to the problem you solve. If you solve problem for nobody, you'll be hungry. Problem solving is key. Problems mustn't scare you. God has given you the ability to solve problems. Can I have a man? And so that's what I'm going to focus on in the mornings. I'm going to focus my energy and my time to teach you the technicalities of solving problems the techniques of solving problems whatever it is amen god you know what god did when god stepped out of eternity and entered into time the first thing god recognized was problems all over the place and then he started solving them life is about solving problems life is about solving problems the little problem you solve the little reward you get the bigger problems you solve the bigger reward you get first peter chapter 5 i'm going to this morning i'm going to spend my time and talk about the spirit of humility humble yourself before god humbles you from once you say nyame abrewase because what i'm wrong once you nyame bebrewase ah say o ma o so a o nyanko bom bebre what is anyo nida yeah, yeah, top one year grown. No, such you were there very popular. They say, and to be a more. Our land is full of arrogant people. Our land is full of arrogant people from pastors to politicians to whoever it is. Sometimes you look at the pastor, the pastor, the congregation is about 50. Half of them are bodyguards. And I ask them, who is about to kill you? Half of the congregation are bodyguards. I mean, the arrogance in Ghana and around the world and our churches is too much. And, and, and one of the things that God put in my heart when we were doing the 21-day fasting, I realized that fasting is very important to your prayer and also your humility. David said, I humble my soul with fasting. You cannot be praying with arrogant heart. God will never hear you. And I realized last week I was teaching this in church and I was telling them one of the main reasons why it became possible for Jesus to go to the cross was because he was a very humble man. If Jesus was not humble, eh? Oh, Bwakra. The Bible says that let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ. Huh? This mind be in you, which was also in Christ, who was in the form of God. He was in the form of God, yet thought it not robbery to be equal with God. But he made himself of no reputation and he took upon himself the form of a servant, being found in a fashion as a man he humbled himself to the to, to the cross even the death on the cross wherefore wherefore god have highly exalted him so you realize that that the reason why god exalted him was because he humbled himself and died on the cross turn to your neighbor and say neighbor humble yourself Say, if you don't humble yourself, God will humble you. Humble 
yourself. The problem we have in our world today, our churches, the rebellion in our churches, family problem, husband, wife problem, children and father problem, most of them are arrogance, sheer pride. Now the Bible tells us, 1 Peter chapter 5, eh, verse 6. James chapter 4 verse number 10 the Bible says that humble yourself huh? humble yourself therefore under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in, in, in due season God has a due season for everybody God has a due season for you listen I came to tell you today that your season will come oh you are not hearing me I say your season will come I'm not hearing you I say your season will come God have a season for you and when your season is here he will make all things very beautiful can I have a man now when the Bible says humble yourself it means that you can do it huh? when the Bible says humble yourself it means that you shouldn't allow anybody to humble you you can do it yourself because if you allow Satan to humble you, you never like it. If you allow man to humble you, you never like it. Oh my God. If you allow God to humble you, hey, you will never like it. Because God's humility, God humbling a person is a dangerous thing. When God sets in to humble you, oh, I've seen people gonna hear that exalted themselves and when God brought them down it, it wasn't nice so humble yourself you're going to preach with me to do turn to your neighbor and say neighbor why? give me the next verse the next scripture humble yourself humble yourself you see a young girl a young girl that can stand in the face of the father and the mother and talk like they are equals. Young girl, mostly because if you are fresh, I mean, what do you are fresh? What you see? You know, until you say, "We know Papa and now Mami a pet." Hey, Bronwasi, we are kolakra, Bronwasi. Humble yourself. Bring humble yourself. I was telling them in New York, uh, somebody died there, eh? and then I uh, and they were cremi cremating the, the body. Cremating means you know uh, they burn the body. Okay, so I said, Oh, bring me some of the ashes of the dead person. Then the, 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 my, my daughter said, Oh, mommy, he said, When we cremated the body, the whole ashes of mommy was like this. I said, What are you talking about? He said, I said, I thought that when they criminate a person, cremate a person, the whole body, the ashes is like a bucket. He said, no, no, no. He said, the whole ashes is like this. I said, you mean the human being can be, can be lowered into a small vial? From what's why? 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 You do what you say. Unsum yami, you don't want to serve God because you see, you don't even know that you are arrogant for just rejecting Jesus. It's arrogance. Bromwasi now, now kura now. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty well, pretty well. Okay, he said, humble yourselves in the sight of God and he shall lift you up so you realize that those two scriptures are the same even though it's James saying it here is the other one is Peter now when you read other places like the book of, of Job they say the same thing just that the words change it tells you that from the beginning of time to the end of time one of the things that God looks in human beings is it, listen you have weaknesses you have problems what God looks at you in your heart what God is looking for is the spirit of humility you see Ahab was one of the wicked kings in the Bible wicked the Bible says that his wife was Jezebel 
The Bible says that in his time, things that Jezebel did, that his wife made him do, was very abominable. He killed prophets. He killed men of God. They, I mean, he, because of him, Elijah ran away. Okay? Then Elijah comes and brought a judgment on Ahab. And the Bible says that when Ahab had the judgment, he humbled himself. He put on sackcloth. And then he walked humbly into the house of God. Then God comes to Elijah, Elijah and says, Do you see how Ahab has humbled himself? He said, Because he has humbled himself, I will not bring the judgment in his days. I will bring the judgment in his son's, son's days. But as for him, he will not see the judgment. You know why? Because the man who committed the offense humbled himself. Humble yourself. When you come to my house, all of us, all the young men in my house, sometimes you never, you, you even know who is the owner of the house. We all sit there, we watch TV together. We sit there, we watch TV together. They come to my bedroom. We sit at the back. We call it Holy of Holies. And we watch TV together. Eh? I make sure that whatever I am eating, they are also eating the same thing. I don't separate my children from anybody's children. Why? Because I came from nowhere. I came from nowhere. I came from nowhere. And if God can lift me up, then he can lift a lot of people up. Can I, come on, put your hands together. Can I have a man? Can I have a, are you with me? Are you with me? Are you with me? Stand on your feet. Go to three people and tell them, humble yourself before God humbles you. Bro, once you understand the Nyamia Bem. Micah chapter 6 verse 8. Humility. Freedom from pride and arrogance. Huh? Humbleness of the mind. Most modest estimation of one's wealth. Amen. You can be very arrogant and very proud and you will never know. Because arrogance is very deceitful. Pride is so deceitful. So you can be very proud and you will never know that you are proud. Because is very deceptive. He said, he has showed thee, O oh man, what is good. And, and what God that require of thee, but to do justly, and to love mercy, and to walk humbly before God. God has showed you what he wants from you. Bro, mercy, walk humbly before God. Bro, mercy, humble yourself. What is pride? Pride is over exaggeration of who you are. When you over esteem yourself more than who you are let me explain it this is what iphone what no this is not 12 this is 13 what pro max this is the best okay who have any other phone mama could have phone maybe i could have phone what do you need a huh then infinite hey move who could have phone so what on is saying? Huh? What on 500? 500 yadi ba dollars mo yai. How much is 500? 70 Ghana cedis. How much? Help me. Yes. 80. Around 80. Okay. So this one here is 70. Let's say let's say 100 dollars. 100 dollars. This one here is 2,000 plus dollars. Now when this phone here start exaggerating itself thinking that it is more better than this it has it has exalted itself are you hearing me it means that you have placed a value on yourself you don't deserve okay I'll give you a scripture to support that. 
let me give you the scripture let's go to Romans chapter 12 you, you understand you understand you have exaggerated so a lot of girls eh? they they are working with their chest you know you Jesus crown me yet Jesus crown me yet you have exaggerated yourself you have overestimated yourself you have put a price on yourself you don't deserve that's what so arrogance is very deceptive and very destructive why because once arrogance comes into your life the next thing is destruction i want you to hear me young man young woman God have called you to serve God. Humble yourself and serve God because your future is in the hands of God. Sunday, because Sunday evening, I'm sorry, no, me a yen war, but Tom. Sunday and Yumre, Omiya Pore, or Paku, or Little Hall, Tiasia Trin, Commanding in Arco Botom for evening service. Our Maswa Forno, Omushedi, no Moko, but we are far now. A kind a few people and a few girls, including Mama Naomi, my wife, we all carry the thing and then we'll be going carrying the benches back and forth. Eh, Namia Juma, yeah. Ejuma ejuma nyami ejuma ejuma ye misi nyami ejuma ye de ejuma ejuma nya ejuma ye mi nyami mi ni obe hey na ma ye hey wa ejuma no hey mi nyami hey mi ni obe na na ma ye wa ejuma misi nyami ejuma ye de let me tell you everybody who was involved in that kind of work all of them God have exalted you saw pastor Frank pastor Frank my cousin came here and preached here you should go and see his church in Atlanta God will never assault you as long as you are proud. Give me the verse 3. For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself highly. You are thinking of yourself highly. You don't deserve the price you have put on yourself. To to Are you understanding me? because you are too high you have exalted yourself above your I mean the price and you have exalted yourself above your price and you have exalted Am I talking to somebody here? Don't think yourself more highly than you ought to think, but to think soberly. Listen, when, when, I'm, when I'm coming here, when I'm coming here, okay, the favor I have with British Airways, huh? when I get to London, my name, they are holding my name up like this. Dr. Dominicaluti. I give myself to them. They take my luggages and my bag. We go down in an elevator. They put me in a rover drives me to terminal five take my bag take me through immigration and then take me to uh, the concord lounge when it is time they come and take my bag and take me to the plane no don't clap there was a time when i get to i'm traveling b huh? and they look at me okay they put me all the way to the back listen when you humble yourself god will lift you up Put your hands together. When you humble yourself, God will lift you up. You see, arrogance is a deception because you have put a price on yourself that you don't deserve. So that alone is a deception. And it now you're a carpenter. Now say, you see, be your dear way. Now say, all the price, not too sure. You can find another carpenter bar. Saka, new carpenter, no. 
or no charge us yo eh eh na say ah na dey na na kwa charge say we are then we lose we juma you are lost your job why because you overestimated the job that's how many of us are you have lost favor let me tell you some of us have lost favor some of us some good things could have come to us on your job among your friends before your man of god before your pastor but the only reason why you are still where you are and you are going down every day because you have lifted up yourself and i want to tell you when you lift up yourself god will be against you when you lift up yourself satan you don't God doesn't have to fight you. Satan will fight you. When you lift up yourself, the earth will fight you. When you lift up yourself, the heavens will fight you. When you lift up yourself, men will fight you. Don't you understand that people resent arrogant people? People resent arrogant people. Humble yourself. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, humble yourself. I'm not hearing you. I say, neighbor, humble yourself. Proverbs chapter 15 verse 33. Put that one down and give me Galatians chapter 6 verse 3. Okay. Are we there? Chapter 6 verse. Yes. If a man think himself to be something when he is nothing. Titles. Prophet, doctor. Archbishop prophet. It's amazing because when we were growing up, we knew the evangelist, we know the pastor, and then the teacher. Today, though, when you call yourself a pastor, it means you are the smallest among men of God. So nobody wants the title pastor anymore. Everybody must either be a prophet or an apostle. And I'm looking at the person who calls himself an apostle. You, you haven't established anything. You have never established anything. Me. By the grace of God, I've established a very vibrant church in New York. I don't call myself an apostle. Yeah. Apostle, doctor, 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 bishop, professor. Sometimes you are looking at the person. Dog, not the doctor. He's uneducated. So I'm asking myself, how did he, they even write an exam to become a doctor? You are uneducated and you have a doctor before your name. Bronwasi. Bronwasi. Huh? You are deceiving yourself. So arrogance is a deception that leads to destruction. Let's all say it together. Say arrogance is a destruction. It's a deception that leads to destruction. You see, you see, when you read the book of Esther, Vashti, the woman that was there before Esther came, you, if not because of the king, you are nothing. It is the king who have covered you. Then the woman has become very arrogant. Your husband is calling you and you refuse to go. Your husband, arrogance, arrogance, without understanding that what makes you who you are is the husband you are married to. If the husband says no more, you are nothing. So, you are nothing. There are places you are going today because of your husband. There are people you know because of your husband. That's what Vashti didn't know. So, the day Vashti lost the queenship, her name was never heard again in the Bible. Give me the next verse. Proverbs, I gave it to you. The fear of the Lord, instruction of wisdom, and then before honor, there is humility. You will never see anybody that God will honor that the person is not humble. Yeah, I'm telling you, you never see anybody. Never. Before I, I have my house, I have to, I, 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 when I come here, I will live with this prophet. I will live in his house. And when the chef is bringing the food to the table, hey, 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 hey where, where are Hey, no can can be not just say. And I'm looking at, I'm Sunya. The man is cooking for us. Why are you humiliating the man before us? Ah, that's arrogant. Here is a man who never believed somewhere from Kajetia who never believed that God can lift him up like this.
To support Bishop Dominic New Love Alities Ministry, visit www.lfmic.org slash give to give online and lfmic at aol.com or 914217071 on Cash App, Zelle, and PayPal, or 0246471458 on MTN Mobile Money. Thank you. Listen! Arrogance is very destructive. There was, when I was growing up, there was a, this man in Koforidu who had the shop. And when the people come for him to pay, eh, you have to, after they have worked for him, you have to bow down and hold his feet. And people kept talking to him that this arrogance will destroy you. He, can, he will humiliate you before he gives you your money. One day, you know what happened? He, he and his girlfriend was at the late night was at the, the, the entrance of the city. And Omini boss came and, and ran them over and killed them on the spot. You know what I find out? Every arrogant person, their death is instant. So for so when you can so when you make a quick no arrogant people doesn't know forgiveness. Arrogant people doesn't know reconciliation. Arrogant people don't respond to authority. Arrogant people, arrogant people are very angry people. Who will be a the or you're very arrogant. They are very disrespectful. Let's go to my case study. I'll continue next next week, Sunday. Ooh. Oh, I love this one. Proverbs chapter 12, verse, verse 9. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 8. Proverbs chapter 30, verse number 32. Give it to me before we go to the case study. Okay? Proverbs chapter... Okay? He that is despised and have a servant is better than the one who honored himself and you lack bread. Who come with you? I come with you. I was teaching this in New York. Now I'm saying, wrong ones because send your TBR will be a better sign. Auntie ask you, send your TBR will be a better sign. Who feel so unfair? Or baby will want more fair sign. I'm a cramp, I'm a mumus, I'm a mumus, I'm a cramp, who to send me a winning me, yeah, yeah, we barrels. Winning me, just any aye, one man also. A day in a genuine. You don't want to serve anybody. You don't want to serve anybody. You don't want to serve your husband. You don't want to serve your wife. You don't want to serve anybody. Everybody must bow to you. And meanwhile, you are lacking bread. Come do. Some people I cannot stand. It's poor people who are arrogant. Who bread so? What my also? Who brown? What's no be more? Give me the next verse. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 18. Verse 18. Pride goeth before destruction, and a haughty spirit before a fall. Anytime you see anybody lifted, lift, lifting himself up, the next thing is a fall. Are you easy? You don't have to do anything. Who's a nipper? Who they are sorry, cry, sorry. Any are so full more. Who's a so full be a man who's so ding 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 and he's insulting that one, he's insulting that one, he's abusing that one. It need me down for and I will come away. Anytime pride comes into you, the next thing is destruction, and your destruction is sudden. It's bum now. He that is often reproved and had not his neck shall suddenly, sudden this swift. Oh, man, who be you? Me a young man. I told the Biana, who say, Ah, Nanya Mikra Adena, who come in Nipa, who come in his say, and Yanya Mia, a Nipa Nahumaswa, and a man Yami in Safiniso, not Bon Sampa, our Maswa. Tell to the members, my brother, humble yourself. I didn't hear you. Say it, let me hear you. Huh? Who could tell you about Swama Hosu? Huh? You're all roast rising soon your day. Who could that tickle? Your two messages in Sunyadin. Ah, 
put it obi one bedroom one bedroom single house with toilet you know outside the house one man also bonsem 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 ye bonsem ye Sumyamio, me say, Minana, Minana Kapai, Minana Kapai, Minana Kapai, I'll say, Koku, Brom was you. Was it yet? My make up been true. Miss Nana son him send me to you, I'll say, Minimum, Minimum send your tear. But may catch now, it be another to be no mini ho, it may catch now not to a cummum, or see, or see, yeah, or be your money who should be our year you. Or see, Yamio Mufibia say, Pa, no, I sell my tin. On your mipper set or sell what or sell woman a come money or nana numina, where you must feel a number of whom are soon. Bromwasi, why Bromwasi? Proverbs chapter 30, verse 32, and then we go to Second Chronicles 26. If thou hast done foolishly in lifting up yourself, I ready, Minyanka Nanka met me at. Pretty way tree mu we ka tree bear the pa ka me ka we wo tree mu a ka bear the pa o si wa ye wa ye ho kwase a na wa ma ho so a o si unu a for wan o satu wan so the ka wan no tu and natasha those of you see if you have done foolishly by by raising yourself he said put your hands on your mouth that's what the scripture is saying Na me away, na me away, na me say, na me na me say, and na me come in you are. Only we are Holy Ghost, we are Holy Ghost. Ma 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 sorry ya, me na me away na me na me me na me away was sorry. Ti ma ma sorry, we are why are Holy Ghost? I'll call off your bluff. Am I talking to somebody? I'll call off your bluff. Am I talking me? Listen, the last thing you want to do with me is to bluff me. Nobody can bluff me. Why? Because man did not call me. Oh, me maybe this is an assault, Ruba Mami. Uba, sorry, is anyone why I fit? Monsa Menyami, sending Yamia CSU, the sending Yamia Sam, a young Wajuma, the sending an uncle, wait, Jimmy, wait, Jimmy, sorry, I'll call you now, and throw me, wait, Jimmy, Uba, have you sent you a Unyansa, and so Basso by Mani, Monsa Menyami, and Jani, or Tretreno. Come on, give God a clap offering. Go give God a clap offering. I say, give God a clap offering. Give God a better clap offering. I'll call off your bluff. I'll call off your bluff. Mina me me niwa me na me ewe me na me chilewe. If you have done foolishly in lifting up yourself, it means that lifting yourself is foolishness. Tell your neighbor, "Osi uma onso anu e jimi o, e jimi o." Kau 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 kachiro ni kachiro. E jimi, jimi. Am I the author of the Bible? Am I the one who wrote the Bible? Am I not reading from the Bible? Come on, am I not reading from the Bible? Uma onso anu e jimi. Rongwasi, anu brasi e di ube kachiro. Che, unim kura anu brasi e. A defavor, a ba. Obi Owa, a Jumani cry. He doesn't deserve the position. But now, now who presidenti now boss? It's only Mufani Shaho. See, oh, you qualify. See, oh, you qualify. Cry Mufani Shaho. And who presidenti do be do it today? We are young girl. We are young girl. And who presidenti be mau knu papa? Am I talking to somebody here? Give me Second Chronicles. The next 15 minutes I'll be done. That is my, I call it case study. Anytime I teach, I need to get a case study from the Bible to solidify what I'm teaching. So this is our case study today. The man is called Uzzah, Uzziah. Uzziah was a son of Amaziah, Amaziah. Uzziah was 16 years when God made him a king. He was anointed as a king at the age of 16. 16. I was here with me. Some of us, eh? Some of us, we came from nowhere. God just took us from some moto. Mo, I mean, to, to be more a female. God took us from some some place. Hey, 
sa o kai baby e nyame yi wo fi wa na ma wa bro ho ase o se kura baby to kro mu baby amazaya was 16 years so at that time he needed god so he surrendered to god the bible says that he served god in the days of zacharias who had understanding of the visions of god and as long as he served god god prospered him nyame am prosper wa obua wajuma 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 nyame na prosper nipa may god prosper you i'm not here i say may god prosper you i'm not here i say may god prosper you lift up your hand and give me a big amen i say may god prosper you somebody here Amen. Come to verse 7. Verse 7 and 8. And God helped him against the Philistines and against the Arabians that dwell in Gabal and Mehunum. And the Ammonite gave gifts to Uzziah and his name spread abroad even to the entry in of Egypt for he strengthened himself exceedingly. God helped him. God helped him. Why are you not Tiha or Siono? God didn't help him. Let me see your hand. You, you are as you see, sometimes we operate like we are self-made. But listen, everything you have came from somebody. Anything you become tomorrow must come from God. If God doesn't touch somebody to bless you, you will never be blessed. Humility is something you don't buy, and God doesn't give you. You must develop that. The spirit of humility is not because you are fool. No, humility. Let's come to verse 16. God has helped you. 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 Verse 16. He got the bo 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 sha. Hey, hey. Na na me mami me mami. O fear for phone is ah. But yes, I'm close for home ball crown. Person or person me na me bewo. Because it's a means of humiliating me. And if I don't pound the fufu, I won't eat it. I'm a pastor. Now stand there and I'll be pounding for pop 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 pop. One day I have these pastors coming to look for me. Some from Church of Pentecost, some from here, because I was the youth leader, I was the youth pastor for GPC, and they were coming to my house. Dog, when they entered into, I mean, they didn't even, even enter the house, they pushed their head and they saw me pounding the fufu. They quickly went back. I never saw them again. Yeah, sure. And I humbled myself and I stayed there and I served. It took one day for God to move me out, one day. Just one day, just one day, miraculously, God gave me a three bedroom, gave me everything I needed. You see, God has to take you through some tests because you know why? Some of us, the reason why God cannot promote you because what is inside you is dangerous. When promotion comes, you start working on everybody, including God. So God said, I can't lift him up now, I just have to first work on him. You don't even see how pathetic you are. You see, arrogant people, arrogant people don't even see themselves. At that, your core bomb pile, baby. We went to pray somewhere. 14 day fasting. Around the 12th day, dry fast at Wabotebri, Kofodia. Around the 12th day, as we were praying, it just dawned on me immediately that I don't have any help. That if God doesn't help me, I'm doomed. All this why I, I didn't have any help, but I didn't know that I didn't have help until God removed that pride. I cried like a baby. That's the day my life started changing. Humble yourself. God help him. This there were three people, three kings whose fame went all the way to Egypt. One was David, one was Solomon, and one was Uzziah. God helped him. Yami Buano. Yami Buano. God has helped me. There is no way I could do what I have done on this earth at this time, if not because God is helping me. Bro, 
Humble yourself so God can help you. Serve God. Run. Me. You be a sorry day. I'm in the car. Don't come to my house. You be a sorry day. When they open the door, I run to church. The day I realize that without God, I am nobody. Hey. I go preach you, baby. Me ni mama Naomi. Ana na ju. I saw for ni bidi ka be siyeng. I was if you know I make a noa. If you know have no walls. Hall and chamber, hall and chamber, hall and chamber. Ain't you know? Yami and your wadum near the wedding and Nisudan and Nonas and Kama Bahudi and your wasamwa. Yami and Wamu. She, me she, my citrum, oh, Kromwa, and any baby and me fever. Nipper charming wessia, a dofunum and yanum, a boifu, a chefu. Yami and Wamu. He, Yami and Wamu. Dainty and then Yami a bebuami say, Name do baby. Nafi, Miami, who say, Me here, Yami, I don't need God anymore. I can be by myself. This is what happened to this man. When he became strong, his heart was lifted up to his destruction. You see, you see, arrogance is a deception that leads to destruction. I want you to put that in your mind. Write it somewhere. Arrogance is a, de a, a, a deception that leads to destruction. When he became strong, his heart was lifted up to his destruction for he transgressed against the Lord his God and went into the temple of the Lord to burn incense upon the altar. Yes, give it to me. Let's close. Let's close. And Azariah, the priest, went in after him and with his first core priests of the Lord that were valiant men. So this man, Uzziah, the Bible says he went into the temple to go and offer sacrifice. And 80 men, 80 mighty men who were priests, went after him to stop him. He snubbed all of them. Snobobia. You know, when you become arrogant, you don't fear anybody. Because Satan fills your heart. You don't even listen to people who can talk sense into you. Arrogant. Arrogant people don't, don't me. I don't waste my time and energy trying to advise an arrogant person because he won't listen. Until you die. 80 people followed one man and they were not able to stop him. Watch what happened. Give me the scripture. And the Bible says, verse 18, and they withstood Uzziah the king and said unto him, It is not your job, Uzziah, to burn incense upon the Lord, but the priests, the sons of Aaron, that are consecrated to burn incense, go out from the sanctuary, for you are transgressing, neither shall it be into your honor from the Lord. You see, Mamika Bimintro, a young Crawford said, Being a pastor, you know. It's a job. It's not a job. It's a calling. Bonsa Menyami. And your friend. And your sort of friend. You see, I, I look at people, they come around me. They come around me. You know, I, I, sometimes I make it so easy. When you come to New York, eh? I'm a, I am in my office. You know, I've stretched my legs on the on the table there my shoes are removed i'm watching tv you come and look at me so where they say i'm that's it wait me i yeah sorry say they send your tea while tv my mean koye bi ube who send your tea hey afro hey afro that's why i have the audacity to change things when i'm making changes you can't tell me to stop because what i'm doing is not man it's not man's work Anytime I tell you, my son, stop st standing at the gate and come and sit down in the church and then you get angry. It means that you are here for yourself, not for God or for the church. Ah, why? why? You don't want to clap? Yeah, anytime I tell you, look at Ennis. We bought ticket for Pastor Ennis to come here, to come and preach. When Ernest came, I called him. I said, the evangelist is here. So sit down. Let the evangelist preach on Wednesday and Sunday. And I said, yes, sir, Papa. Yes, sir, Papa. And sat down. If it were you, you'll never come to church again. Sorry, my sorry, be and then, and then you're going to get some naive, simple-minded people that to follow you and keep you in the house. Let me say it again. A juma way and your bank a juma. When your bank a juma, 
Let me tell you. Tamwa ye be munu. Na yo hia juma o. Na obi anim so obesu nya me kra manya me ehira o. Na ye a vow of poverty. Ye be ye ba ye no. Ah. Me wo fa se, me wo fa, me wo fa se. O se ah. Na den ha, den ha, den ha me wo fa se. Na wo ye di wako school sa ko school na be ye lawyer. Be ye lawyer, be ye doctor. O se me kodi sofo. Wo se sofo e si dinda. That's my uncle. But he won't say sofu. We see that in that. Mama Naomi, Papa, or beside the mommy. But he now Musi, Musi, a branch in Oya Day Juma. What say a branch in here or sofu? Oya Day, Oya Day Agdi, Oya Day Agdi. What say or sofu? Now or sofu, Mudi or so Mudi Meba Eba Ma or sofu, or sofu Ama or sofu no. Just say or sofu no. I say Meba no. Osofu, 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 oso, ayi. Then they ham, then they ham, then they ham, then they ham. Bonse me nyami, bonse me nyami. Today, if the father is alive, the father will always thank me for taking care of a daughter and taking care of a family. If the father is alive, the father will always thank God for me. Can I give God, God, give God some praise? It was so bad that when we were going to do uh, uh, the engagement, no family member came. There was no family member. It was so bad that Mama Naomi's wedding dress, we have to borrow from somebody. It was so bad that my shoes for wedding, I have to borrow it from another person. Shoe, me the shoe here Shoe, me the here me the shoe here What do I need shoe for? Let me finish the scripture. It will not be for your honor. When you when you lift up yourself, it will never be for your honor. It will never be for your honor. Humble yourself. Let God know that you love him. You are not here for anybody. You are not here for Bishop Alote. You are not here for Nana Yao. You are not here for... You are here because God has called you. You, you know the decision I made earlier on? Even the people that disciple me and brought me to church when they stop coming I snub all of them I snub them once you stop coming I snub you I cut you off okay let me finish with this I'm done give me the verse 19 then Hosea was rough you hear that arrogant people when you start advising them they become very angry that's one of the signs of arrogant people what you say To support Bishop Dominic New Love Alities Ministry, visit www.lfmic.org slash give to give online and lfmic at aol.com or 914217071 on Cash App, Zelle, and PayPal, or 0246471458 on MTN Mobile Money. Thank you. I had, I had somebody in my church that I brought up, trained, I anointed as a pastor, then I joined him later on as a reverend minister, gave him the opportunity to be preaching in a church. When I'm not around and he take the mic, he'll be saying all kinds of foolishness. Oh, people are telling me that I should go and start my church. Hey, and you are saying that in my pulpit. Some of the things you say. So I came back, I listened to the CD and I called him. I called, I called, I called him to my office, called him. I said, I listened to the, the message. I said, the things you are saying. I said, this pulpit is for great people. I said, when you have the opportunity to stand here and talk, mind your words. Then she got angry. She got angry. And I said to her, today is your fair, your last time I will advise you. Listen to me. When an authority person in your life refuses to talk to you, and advise you it means that your future doesn't matter to him anymore your father your pastor your mother they are looking at you and they refuse to advise you it means that your future doesn't matter to them your future don't just say that to you all the time i say that to him all the time joshua this is my son i say the same thing to him i see god the hand of god over my son I see how God is lifting me. He used to be very arrogant and very angry. When Joshua is angry and I kept talking to him, I said, it won't take you anywhere. 
and I told him the way you are behaving if I stop talking to you it means I don't care anymore and God started working on him little by little I'm so proud of him today that he can stand he can preach he can teach 22 years he can preach I did it I, 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 I told them I said if God doesn't call you I will never call you to come and be a pastor but if God calls you then I will be able to anoint you but I will never put you into the church because you are my son you must work your way to the top come on put your hands together he was rough he has a sensor in his hand to bend the incense the osophono catro said, you are wrong. What you are doing is this is the direction you say, Mimpli. A coach of an ejuma babe. Bible said, the Bible says, and while he was wrong with the priest, the leprosy even rose upon his forehead before the priest in the house of the Lord. Before so Ojina or now Casanoano and a leprosy move friend is saying. Kwata e fifi woni mo maso o jira wona ha okasa no ano ene asori dem a lot of people have leprosy on their forehead spiritual leprosy that's why favor is running away from you my name is bishop dominica lote i approve of this message you have taught me over the years that there is one characteristic that is an abomination and that is arrogance and pride father let us recognize that in you we live we move and we have our being without you we are nothing without you we are nothing it's your grace that keeps us whatever we shall become tomorrow is because of you Therefore, we ask for grace and your mercy in the name of Jesus. You deserve all the praise and the glory for the great things you have done in Jesus' name. Let the church shout the big amen. Amen. Put your hands together. And you are not saved you want to give your life to Jesus listen I did that many years ago I gave my life to Jesus I've never I have never been I've never been the same I'm looking at the people we used to play with with the neighborhood that were making mockery of us hey now who, are, who, who do you say you are evangelist evangelist they were making mockery of me because I've given my life to Jesus my life changed the day I surrendered my life to Jesus. I like, I love the enthusiasm of Reverend Apiakubi. His love for souls. Put your hands together. May the Lord bless you. I'll stand with you in this ministry. Come on, put your hands together. So if you are here and you want to give your heart to Jesus, you have nothing to be ashamed of. Quickly lift up your hand. This is the greatest decision you will ever make. This decision. I made this decision almost 40 years ago. I've been serving God since I was a teenager. I gave my life to Jesus. I've never regretted. Today, God has made me the record breaker of my family. You have no idea. Some of you standing here are great women. Great women. Great men. Entrepreneurs great giftings your life begins from now now I'm going to tell you say Lord Jesus I give my heart to you this afternoon come into my heart wash me from my sins from today I will serve you remove my name from the book of death and condemnation write my name in the book of life I confess with my mouth that Jesus is my Lord I believe in my heart that I'm saved because Jesus is risen from the dead thank you for saving me Th use me use me for your glory in jesus name say amen
I speak God's blessings upon you. Give them a clap offering. May this be a beginning of a better life. In Jesus' name, go back to your seat. After service, are you, you see them, eh? Huh? After service, we want to, your poor sorry, we want to see all of you. Now, I was going to close the service. The Spirit of the Lord said to me, pray for people who can help themselves but to be arrogant. It's not your fault. You have been brought like that. It's because you are a step from destruction. You are a step. A step away from destruction. I want you to come. You, I'm not going to ask you to raise your hands. The fact that you are sitting down and you know that this is your problem is a sign that you don't want God to help you. Stand up and come. I'm waiting. One, I'm counting ten. Two, three, four, five. God bless you. Six. See, the fact that you even stood up to come here is a sign that God has already finished a marvelous work in you. Seven. you may be a step away number nine god bless you my son hurry up who is the next one coming there is somebody here that god is calling you my son god bless you number 10 who is that person god bless you God bless you, my daughter. God bless you, my daughter. Lift up your hand. Say, Father, today I've heard your word. I humble myself before you. Lord, help me to overcome this character in the name of Jesus. Give me the grace to live a humble life. Make me a servant. Help me to help other people. Help me to bring myself down and be like Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I thank you for what you are doing in my life today. Deliver me from sudden death and sudden destruction. In Jesus' name, I pray for you, my, my son, my daughter. I ask that the Lord will prevent every sudden destruction that has been planned for you this year to be cancelled may the agent of satan move away from you may angels come around you and help you may the lord use you and take you very far like he has done to me may you never forget today's message may it be written on the tables of your heart in the name of jesus god richly bless you and i love you come i want you to put my hand on your head come one by one one by one may the lord give you grace go to your seat may the lord give you grace go to your seat may the lord give you grace 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 may the lord give you grace, may the lord give you grace. God bless you for listening to this message. Visit www.lfmic.org today for more information about the ministry of Dr. Dominic Alati. For more video and audio messages, find us on YouTube at Conquest TV and Dominic Alati Ministries and Living Faith Ministries International Church on Facebook for more information on our upcoming programs. Follow us on Living Faith Rima House Ghana on Instagram and please subscribe to this podcast to receive new messages every week. Subscribe also to our YouTube channel for live service and many more. God bless you.